Welcome to Maternity Side Bailey. Hey everybody, it's Chris MobilitySite.com, and I'm back with the uh, LG, or excuse me, the Samsung <laughs> Propel Pro to give you a little uh, little demonstration of the UI here. Um, you control most of the device with these buttons here, which are the the send, the hang up, the back, and the home buttons. And the home button takes you right there to home. I've got to unlock the phone. Click on the uh, soft key there on the left here and these are the hard and soft left keys this is a joystick like navigation as you can see there up and down left and right and you just scroll through this is windows mobile 6.1 the standard uh... today screen for it but anyway so you've got this here this is a kinda mo mostly for looks there that little round circle like i said this is up down left right center punch uh, d-pad type joystick uh, you've got your keyboard here which is awesome very black jackish um, I see there the and I get a little better look at the uh, the parts of the phone that I didn't get to show you in the uh, hardware unboxing I did the other day this is the micro SD slot volume power and on the top here I was trying to show you this but the lighting was horrible You've got that little button there that releases the back cover which is like I said a fingerprint magnet and on the other side you've got your charge sync your camera button and on the bottom you've got nothing so anyway let's um, turn this thing back on here and I'll set it down to get some stabilization there and we'll show you this is the best stylus I've ever used this is a stylus on one end pin on the other that I got from uh, American Airlines it's really nice it's real heavy real nice anyway not that that matters but so yeah this is the today screen you can scroll through and you can see the voicemails I'm going right to left here two new emails uh, no new missed calls eight voicemails again no text messages and I can click on email and see the emails it brings that up and then I can click back to go back down here you will see no appointments new appointment you, you can create a new appointment right from the today screen and no new here you've got some AT&T things, media net, AT&T mail, video, get express mail, blah blah blah. And that noise you heard there, that was actually me getting a new email. Uh, you've got a media player right here on the front. There's no left or right scrolling here unless they actually had the songs listed. Uh, my photos, you can scroll through your photos right here on the front page. Most of these are photos that were preloaded and then I've got one that I took of my son doing karate here and you can click on that and it'll actually open it up in the album see there it wasn't very close in so um, go back to hey we just saw phone numbers you don't need to see that we'll edit that out so we'll go back down here uh, photos uh, profile you can s select through your profiles by going through here as well a lot of good stuff on the today screen this is Windows Mobile 6.1 as I said so um, this is a Windows Mobile uh, 6.1 standard which means it's not a touch screen there's no interaction going on there this is like the blackjack you know except for you know, slides out uh, so you control the device with the soft keys oops come on hit start and then you bring up your men menu and there's two different menu types let me put it back down here so you don't have to watch it jiggle uh, and you just scroll through your folders and so forth here uh, you can go up to like uh, oh this is the uh, recent programs I'll click here again to go to all programs and we'll go down here to like the application menu and show you well games you've got AT&T's nice little barrage of non windows or non free applications you got bubble breaker and solitaire that comes on all Windows mobile devices, and then they've got the added device or added um, game applications that you know are like probably limited one time things. So we go back, and then you go over here to like applications, and you'll see a whole another slew of AT&T added stuff. You got Adobe Flash Lite, call history, camera, and eBay application. Let me scroll in a little or uh, zoom in a little bit more so you can actually see this. And y'all saw how I'm, I'm just controlling this going up and down with the deep or with the uh, joystick thing here. 
Uh, got mobile TV, mobile banking, file explorer, which is sufficient, MyCast Weather, PDF Viewer, Photo Slides, RSS Reader, which is decent, uh, Office Mobile. Um, we'll click on that and show you Office Mobile. You got your OneNote, PowerPoint, Word, blah, blah, blah. So we'll go back from there. There's another email come in. All right, let's get back out of here. All right, we're we're back to applications, and uh, I went ahead and dropped down into to uh, Office Mobile to show you that. But what I wanted to show you was the application folder. Oh, we are in application folder. I am so sorry. Okay, yeah. So yeah, um, Wiki Mobile. Task Manager, which basically you turn off all your applications that are running and so forth. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off Contacts and see that we'll close Task Manager too. That'll save 92k. So but anyway, uh, let's go into Settings here. Oh, and you see uh, Task Manager. Oh, this is the most recent programs. Let's go to All Programs. We stopped at the Applications folder. You got your Settings folder, Internet Sharing. Uh, Twikini, however you pronounce that, that is a beta application for Twitter that I've downloaded and installed on there myself. You got voice command, and we got settings. And this is just like any Windows Mobile standard, just how you you know deal with it, change your home screen and whatnot. Uh, AT and T default is what I'm using, but anyway, we'll get out of there, get out of there, and I want to show you guys the memory info. And this is a little different than what you're used to seeing. And there's a nice, nice amount of uh, available storage and running uh, memory. I've got no micro SD card in here, so we're not worried about that. But a uh, 67 meg of uh, program memory available to you and 95 storage, which is pretty decent. The Samsung Omnia has got 8 gig, but hey, this isn't the Omnia. <laughs> this is the uh, Propel Pro, and it's a great little device. Uh, we're not really concerned too much about the... Uh, the uh, here's the versions for people that care about that kind of stuff. We're not too concerned about the software because, other than you know minor changes, this is not too much different than just the standard 6.1 uh, OS. It's mainly the hardware that we're keying on with this device. It's a really neat you know concept with the slide up keyboard, eliminating the size. Uh, when you're in a call, if you dial a call come out here and go 205 555 whatever 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 and you hit send if you close the keyboard it shuts that call down however if you get a call in and you answer it right here you don't have to have it open or yeah open you can actually talk like this but if you close it while you're in a call it shuts the call down which is not cool in my opinion until you get used to it you can figure that out but anyway that is a little software walkthrough of the Samsung Pump Propel Pro and as you see it's a very shiny attractive device in addition to being functional with full keyboard there so I really like it um, look forward to our full review here in a couple weeks over at mobility site I'm actually using this right now as my daily driver because a it's nice and B gotta write a review on it so anyway uh, Chris Lightness mobility have a good afternoon